It's our after lunch walk around. Um, yesterday they did hit this with uh, primer. So uh, it looks to be all welded up thoroughly. Um, the plates have been primed, support plates, the uh, spacer beams. Okay, I, wonder, I was wondering how they did that, because the, this thing came as a six metre piece, so you got about four metres there, another couple of metres there, so, hmm, okay. This one is actually uh, four pieces of angle iron assembled together into a I-beam facsimile. Okay, now I know. That's the uh, carrier rail, is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. No, that's that's a door stop. That's the uh, the sliding door closes up against that on the front of the building. Well, this thing has surely had enough coats of paint now. It's going to be under cover, so hopefully it won't rust too rapidly. But God, it looks solid. There you got the 40 millimeter box tube. Then there's the the twisted rod, and then there's the in between them is the expanded steel. So. Uh, Nobody's getting through that. Wow. Now I know. They've refined the uh, lower channel there that actually goes down to the drainage canal. Although I think this bit's probably higher than that bit so it won't drain that way. But what drain, drains off the back here may head that direction. And you can see they've done the, the refinement of this first bit. And then we have to continue from there. We've got a level established in here, and that'll may not get refined on top as well. Maybe. We'd better put some white paint on this wall and that wall to provide a bit more light in here. But these other sides, I wouldn't paint them white. Just got to get those uh, 90 degree angles on there so we can fit some valves. Start capturing water. And it's the morning walk around. I skipped last night's after dinner walk, walk around because it was a uh, party day, so no work to have made any progress. But as um, far as I can see, still no sand move, but maybe a little bit more of the rocky fill. Let's see what else is happening. Apparently, Matty Lampu, so they're going to move the uh, small generator down to the, the shed. By the which technically they need, don't need to do because I've just switched Lisu's house across to the off-grid system and the power line running to the shed goes from there so they actually add power at the shed at the moment um, not sure what else is happening I'll go have a look so it looks like they're setting up to install that back door now which is good another coat of paint on the front wall and I don't know what he's doing over there. Fixing up defects maybe in the uh, surface city. And they're still working on top of the tank. No idea. Uh, the front here I can see he's refining that a little bit, but obviously I can't see what they're doing up there. Whatever it is, it's probably not really necessary. I think the reason that the uh, mounting box for the switches and the uh, power boards they haven't been mounted on the front wall is we've run out of screws the right size I've ordered a couple hundred more through Shopee so hopefully they will turn up shortly and hopefully the remaining two wheels for the um, train bridge will turn up shortly well, I've been doing a bit here this morning 
So you'll see those blocks and uh, boards are mounted on the wall now. Uh, so I've got those two to do there, one on this side of the wall, one on the other side of the wall. And that one over by the cages, because that right hand door will open back flat against that column, I'll put the, uh, the power point round on the uh, south side of the column where that blue tape is. And uh, Azra has been installing rails for me. I've got a towel rail and a grab rail. So hopefully they will be solid. Well, that one doesn't have to be quite so solid, but this one, I need that to be solid so that when I, <laughs> when I pull on that to stand up, it's not going to rip off the wall. In uh, Tullamarine, I had a pretty good bathroom, pretty decadent. Uh, if you want to see just how decadent, go and look at uh, realestate.com.au and look up 11 Streetly Close in Tullamarine and it actually has pictures there. Um, but when that was being done in 1995, the guy who was doing it was really good. Um, and I told him, okay, I want a grab rail on the wall over there for getting out of the spa bath. And I want it strong enough that I can swing my weight on it. And at the time I was about 120 kilograms. So he looked me up and down and said, right, I'll put some more wood in the wall behind it. And he did. And I told him, right, now the, uh, the tiled surround around the top of the tub, because to get to the window I have to walk on that, I want that strong enough for me to walk on. He said, right up, I'll put twice as much wood under that as normal. So the uh, bathroom in Tullamarine is very strong. Uh, so we'll see how this <laughs> comes up in comparison. I suspect it's not going to fare well. Oh well. Uh, yeah, anyway, I've got uh, the two extra power boards have come from Shoppy. There's actually four. I need two over here. And uh, so, so one for there and one extra one for there because I had one already. So I shall start drilling holes again. Evening walk around, it looks like the rocky field's been reduced to the, just the rocky part. Sand hasn't moved much. Well, the uh, train bridge and um, two spaces have been painted. I actually did see they could have paint uh, welded, they didn't. But it's fully welded on the, on the inside, so okay. And I see only two rails here. But there's another two, and I've just spotted them. Here they are, they've had the uh, primer coat. So, uh, okay, I'm thinking... This end it has to be the... Uh, West end because the, the plates are fairly close to the end there where the space will go in. If they weren't close to the end, it limits the travel of the train. And the winter was running, causing a rain of flaky rice husks. We appear to have a duck in jail at the back of Lizu's house. Wonder what they've done wrong. I'd had about enough of concrete, but I've been persuaded to let them put the, another three centimetres on there to get the water flow in the right direction. It's got to end soon. Azra climbed up there today to operate the uh, big hammer drill, which is not a one-handed operation, so that was a bit precarious on the top of this ladder. But uh, that uh, ring that's been bolted up there, that's the tie point for the cable that's going to run across to the uh, house to support the electrical and other cable. Seem to have more water ingress into the, uh, the service pit. It's a bit unfortunate. 
I've got the remaining outlets on the wall now at the front, including the one on the front wall here. Uh, I do think I need to get a little shelf constructed near that because people working here are probably going to want to uh, use those charger ports there, charge phones, whatever. So it'd be handy to have a little shelf there to put their phones on. As we extended that pipe in the corner up and through the wall, as you can see, he tried drawing a hole above, but there was actually a steel rod running through at that level. So that'll get patched up later. This morning walk around. I looked at the weather forecast for the next week and the temperature doesn't go above 32, but the feels like varies between 39 and 42. Wonderful what humidity does to the feels like temperature. Um, so these guys are obviously moving sand around from around the front uh, in preparation for mixing lots of concrete for this extra layer out the front here. And they're watering it down so that uh, the concrete sticks. Uh, I'm going to find Azra to hand in the uh, picture to show him the valves on the tank. I fix up the concrete here at the front of the house. There's um, a truck running over the uh, bit between that path that he's rolling along now and the uh, front ramp there has de been depressed by uh, heavy truckloads of cement sacks. So that was puddling instead of flowing down to the drain which is down near this guy's right foot. So um, I'll fix up the fall on that properly. New lot of concrete. Concrete where that gravel is that's been depressed previously. And maybe they'll fix up the uh, crossover over the, um, the drain at the front while we're at it. And I'll wander down to the uh, ice factory and see what the status is down there. Yeah, we need to fix this bit up. And uh, yeah, in the process of moving sand. More spray painting going on. I came, came looking for my uh, small folding hand trolley, which last saw down here, and that's not here. So <laughs> now I've got to wonder where it is. Uh, constructing the uh, ramp up to the front entrance here so that, that machine doesn't break that edge off. Pregnant cats just lounging around trying to avoid getting too wet. And for some reason or other we have a lot of water being swept out from inside. I don't think that's because they've sprayed a lot of water around, but I could be wrong. But I think some of it's come out of the service pit. Which is an issue in itself. See you after lunch walkabout, and we've got to start on this. Still think we should have done a diagonal cut across the corner at the far end. Yeah, maybe I should go and find Azra and suggest that now. Oh, lots of sand's been moved. It's been Matty Lampu. Uh, electricity off but it's on again now that's why they would have been using the generator and they've assembled the uh, crane bridge still waiting on those last two wheels apparently they're at the depot but the the last stage the delivery the guy has forgotten them or thought they were too heavy to do or bring them or something but uh, yeah, they're not far away apparently. More painting going on, good oh. Still working on depth bars here. Including the ramp to the front door. And down the next stage. This looks better, fortunately Azra hadn't glued things in place. 
So uh, built a plinth there to put the pump on. Uh, I disassembled the uh, the filter over at the house today because it wasn't being used there. And we'll get that in service here and plumbed into the, uh, the the feed properly. So after the pump into that filter, then there's a UV steriliser which will go up where those other bits of tape are, feeding up to a pipe which will go up to a T on the wall and one piece will come this way to join up with this the other piece will go to the back and along the back to go across to feed the uh, tank and bathroom at the far end there's my UV sterilizing unit still working on the pit prettying up steps by the look of it but uh, you had to bail some water out this morning which is not good a good solid door <laughs> take the CTL to get through that without opening it um, the other concern is that somebody can come along here and lock me in the building if that front door is locked from the outside so I've got to find some way of dealing with that I think probably what I'll do is use I've got a, a padlock with a long long hasp which may be able to feed up through here and, and lock that handle up there out of the, the way. See so that or no, I can't do that. Maybe lock it like that so that it can't be closed. That yeah, might do. The other thing is, how do I get a door closer on that? Because I do have a door closer, but that might be a little bit too narrow margin. Eh, no, nah, might work. I'll pull it out of the box and have a look later. It's an evening walk around, and uh, we took the opportunity to uh, trim back that lower uh, tiled step there. So we get a wider path around the corner. Um, <clears throat> somebody of course had to... Oh, cat prints. Funny. Well, we still have some rocks but the sand pile is gone. Still waiting for those last two wheels to come from the depot. And under there we have the rails painted white. Looks like we've got all the depth bars in place now. Thought they were going to do that area, I'm not sure. I brought over the uh, table and a chair. Well, the chair was here previously, but I brought over the table today. That hasn't been getting any use previously. And there's a whole array of stuff for installation. And here's extremely pregnant cat. Hello. Extremely pregnant, friendly cat. Okay, that's normal. No water source there. And what we have around here is a plinth. So we have. No, as right, you forgot that bit. There's supposed to be another T piece in there to go up with a clear tube to get depth. But hopefully he hasn't hasn't glued yet. Got that bit fixed. So I shall check back with him about that. I guess tomorrow will be a concrete day. Here we are for morning walk around and there's more spray painting going on. Another coat of white. So hopefully these things won't show streaks of rust when they're sitting up in the sky. Now the smart kids know that you write somebody else's name in the concrete to get them in trouble. I wonder if Bindi's that smart. 
I suspect the answer is no. I showed you previously the condensate from the lounge room dripping out here. And I think people are sick of it. <laughs> oh, look at this, because they've carved a channel in the concrete and they're going to reroute the uh, condensate <laughs> directly to the drain. Possibly a shame in some ways, because I won't know the uh, volume of liquid that's coming out anymore. I think that's probably about the third batch I've heard this morning. That way you got somewhere to stand while you uh, level out the, the bit between the uh, pit cars. Okay, looks like they're moving rocks now. So we just gone 8 o'clock out here and it's hot. You can see the dust from the, uh, the swooping you're doing there, but what you won't make out from the camera is the steam coming off the uh, water that splashed around out there. Amazing. I'm going to go back where it's cool. I had thought to come over here and do a bit of work on the electrics, but nah. Normally there are three guys working on the steel down at the uh, rice factory. And there was only one earlier when I was down there, and that's because two of them, there's one of them, uh, were up uh, looking at the face of that uh, step up there. I think they're going to put the polycarbonate up there. That'll be good. But uh, this video is getting long enough. Time for another upload.